On Sunday, May 2nd, we were picked up by the bus to go to Washington, D.C. It was 4.02 when we last saw St. Paul's. I sat down in my seat in the third row next to one of my friends. The girls sat in the front of the bus and the boys sat in the back. The parents sat in between the children. The bus trip was 15 hours long and very tiring. First, we watched National Treasure. My friend slept most of the bus ride there. I was very bored, so I decided to take pictures with her. Fun, fun. We arrived in D.C. at 9.20 a.m. on Monday morning. It was very rainy and wet. After breakfast at Union Station, we went to the National Cathedral. The architecture is the real deal. There were candles that you could light in the sanctuaries. We found out that you had to pay $5 to light a candle, but that was after the fact. Whoopsie. After the cathedral, we ate lunch at the old post office pavilion. We went up in a huge elevator and saw the whole city. Then we hopped on the bus and went to the National Archives. We arrived at Tuish and it was hot and humid. We walked in and saw the Constitution and then the articles. After that, we went to the Ford's Theater. These show boxes in this picture are the ones President Lincoln was shot in. This is the boring tour guide who told us about it. He talked really slow and sad to say but most of us fell asleep. This is a bust of Lincoln's head. It was placed in the back of Ford's Theater. Next we went to the Franklin D. Roosevelt Memorial. It had many waterfalls. After that, we walked to the Jefferson Memorial. That was the last thing of our first day in Washington, D.C. On Tuesday morning, we ate breakfast and rushed to the White House. We arrived at 9.10. It was very neat. This woman has been living outside the White House protesting for 29 years. We hurried to the Supreme Court next. This is a beautiful ceiling in the Supreme Court. Next we went to Arlington Cemetery. This is a guard guarding the Tomb of the Unknown Soldiers. After that we went to the Iwo Jima Memorial. Then we went to the Vietnam Memorial. After that, we went to the Korean Memorial. Isn't this kind of sort of a creepy picture? Then we went to the Lincoln Memorial. After that, we ate supper at Union Station. In the morning, we picked up our tour guide, Jurgen, and headed out to Mount Vernon. The house was amazing. If I could live there, I would. This is Washington's tomb. His wife is also buried with him. His house was placed on the Potomac River. So pretty. After Mount Vernon, we sped to the Capitol. This statue is named Freedom. We went on a tour and learned about the man who painted this dome. After that, we went to the Library of Congress. It had amazing architecture. Then we proceeded to see the Hope Diamond in the Museum of Natural History. It is 51 carats. After we were done taking pictures and looking at the Hope Diamond, we went to the Butterfly and Marine exhibits. We left and ate at the Reagan Food Center and then went to the John F. Kennedy Center for Performing Arts. First, we walked through and saw all of the 16 crystal chandeliers. Then we saw the huge bust of John F. Kennedy's head. 
After that, we wandered into some big elevators and saw the Hall of Nations. The hall next to us was called the Hall of States. We took the same elevators out to the balcony of the John F. Kennedy Center and saw the beautiful landscape of Washington, D.C. My friend and I began to soar around the balcony. Our last stop of the day was Souvenir City. It is the place to go if you're looking for overpriced trinkets. After that, we went home and slept. On Thursday morning, we packed our stuff and made our way to the World War II Memorial. It was amazing. It has all of the states on big stones around the fountains. Next, we had the choice to go to the Air and Space Museum, the Treasury, or to go shopping. Two friends and I went shopping. Fun. We got a free hat with our purchase, as you can see. While my class went to the IMAX, I skipped because I get sick. I waited for 45 minutes and put on my glow-in-the-dark nail polish, which was a dud. When they came out, we ate at a giant McDonald's. Yuck! After we ate, we went to the American History Museum. Parker, Allie, and I walked around looking at the first ladies' dresses. Allie told us her own story about each of them. What a character. After that, I was the president. Two of my friends were my bodyguards, and the person I sat next to on the bus, well, I guess she was the person who made faces to make the crowd laugh. Then we walked over to the Washington Monument. It is so pretty at night. This is the White House from the top of the Washington Monument. It was the windiest day that day. My hair was flying all over. After the monument, we got on the bus for another 15-hour drive home. I sat next to the same person again, and I had the funniest time with her. I love Washington, D.C.